Shoots it. A pass in front. Henderson was upended as he tried to shoot it. Here's another shot. Henderson right in. He scores! Henderson! No, uh, we knew it went in, but we also had 27 seconds to go. The uh, television broadcast quit at 5-5, so it was left in the uh, uh, Russians' mind, uh, whoever's watching it on TV, that it ended in a 5-5 draw, and because the goals for us against, they won the series. We didn't want them inside our end, because uh, you don't know what's going to happen. You know, they're uh, very good hockey players, explosive, and hey, who knows, one shot's off a skate and it's in. Well, not many people remember that after we scored, Paul scored the winning goal, or the Soviets came down and almost scored, which would have left us a, a different ending, but fortunately, of course, they didn't. Uh, that gets overlooked. They'll, they'll throw a puck into an area where there's no one there, and then all of a sudden, bang, there's a player on it. So, uh, no, they, they had a different style, they were five men units. I had played against the Russians when I was playing junior hockey with the Toronto Marlboros, and uh, we had a very good team. And they spanked us back then pretty good, so I knew they could play. At our blue line and just lobbed it out and it was going and going and I was watching I thought oh the god it don't tell me it's going to be icing and the defenseman raced down before it went over the red line and that pretty well killed the clock. You no, know, we thought it was going to be a friendly series and turned out not to be friendly. We certainly went to war for our country, and uh, while no one was shooting guns at us, uh, there were different types of shots fired, and uh, I think we uh, responded. It was something that uh, we looked upon ourselves as being the best, and finally were able to tell the world we are the best.